We're looking for solutions that are bold, um, that are really innovative compared to existing alternatives. Any new system, any new process, any new technology is an innovation. There needs to be incentives for innovators to continue innovating in a highly risky, highly adverse space. We're an innovation platform. If we're not taking risks, then we're not that innovative. The Indigenous Innovation Initiative is a, it's an innovation platform providing seed funding for Indigenous innovators and entrepreneurs that integrate Indigenous ways of knowing and being and are bringing it forward to solve some of the biggest challenges in our community in this contemporary context. The program we run is called the Humanitarian Grand Challenge. There are gaps in provision of water and sanitation, and gaps in provision of healthcare products and services, people need energy, people need information. People submit to us ideas to improve these things. We choose the best ideas and then we give them financial support and we give them access to mentors and networks um, and a community to try and turn their great ideas into a new reality. We bring in other experts to help them and they help each other. So we create a community of people who are working on similar issues that help each other. And this is what you see is they all end up collaborating with each other to work towards similar objectives. We fund innovations that are tackling everything from sexual and gender-based violence to providing sexual health education, manufacturing and distributing quality menstrual health products to young girls, and reproductive health solutions. The innovators we support are not only smart and talented, but they are inspiring and dedicated to what they do and to supporting their local communities. You know, our innovators are working in extreme conditions. Uh, trying to address some of the most ambitious challenges. Often this conversation is around uh, the, the need to fund the local groups as a matter of equity, but actually the conversation would, should be around the need to fund local groups because they're better at these things. Making space for them to be able to ask any questions and to really be bold. What are their wildest and craziest ideas that if it works, it's going to really have a huge impact.